Hey, welcome to this second workout on bar chords. If you're tired of playing lousy bar chords, if you've always struggled with bar chords, you've come to the right place. If you have your guitar with you, um, take it out. Make sure and download the PDF that we have that goes along with this lesson. The link is in the, in the description below in the YouTube uh, description, and that'll take you to the PDF for this whole series. It's a three-part series. This is the second part of this, and we're gonna be talking about bar chords and practicing together. I'm Steve Krenz for Guitar Gathering, your home for real nuts and bolts guitar learning. So we're gonna be practicing together tonight. So grab your guitar, and let's see if we can conquer these bar chords once and for all. Now, bar chord workout one covered pages one through three. Now we're gonna get into page four. So I trust you have been learning and having a good time with the first workout and going through those. Go through them as much as you can. Um, and then that, um, as your fingers get strong enough, you are ready to move on. That's a wonderful thing about, you can watch these over and over again. Take a look at page four. This is where tonight's workout starts and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna take you through about uh, 16 or so different exercises that I have just handpicked each one of them builds on a specific skill. So you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Last week, we covered the notes on the sixth string and power chords and building up our bars. So I'm not gonna go through that material again. I'll trust that y'all have covered that in the bar chord workout one. Take a look at bar chord workout two. This is page four of the PDF. Look at that first exercise. Now we're gonna start getting into where we're having our bar and we're adding other fingers to it and we're gonna move it around to different spots. So this is the first part of it. The first chord that we learned, we started out up here at the fifth fret, which is an A, and we did a two finger power chord. Remember that from last time? And then we did a bar that went all the way down through all the six strings. Now remember, remember where the power from a bar chord comes from. It comes from this first finger. Okay, so it's not your squeezing muscles. It's from this first finger trying to hold its place. It's a little muscle that we have to strengthen up for that. So to get us started out, let's do, I want you to hold a sixth, sixth string bar up here at the fifth fret. And we'll just do it for maybe eight counts. Well, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven do it again and try and hold it just as good as you can some notes may be buzzy that's okay just as your hand strength develops it's going to be easier for you to do them so just continue to work on that three seven eight sorry i can't count yeah. one two three four five six go down a half step go two three four five six seven down another half step Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all about hand strength. Remember a good hand position as well. I need a little bit of air space right here so I'm not gripping up like that. Now, as you tire, your hand's gonna wanna start using those big squeezing muscles and grip up like that. Try and force that hand. The power is almost coming up from underneath, back with this first finger, back onto the fretboard like that. All right, so now we're gonna combine those that two finger power chord with the six string bar, and we're gonna form our first chord, which would be a minor seventh. This first batch of chords that we're gonna be dealing with tonight are all based off of the six string. They have a root on the six string. And this, we learned last week, E, F, G, A, is an A. So I want you to try that. We have our six finger, six string bar, and then we have this third finger coming over. Now, you'll notice you may need to overshoot here. That's okay. I want you to, you need to find the sweet spot where you're getting a good connection with all the strings. And sometimes that takes a little bit of overshooting to do that. So see if you can get every string to ring out clearly. There you go. Now, if some of them are muted, All it has to do with hand strength. So keep working through those exercises in the first bar chord workout and you will get the hand strength that you need. All right, so take a look at this first exercise. We're gonna do a down up, down up pattern 
And then you'll notice in the next bar, it has just two lines and a dash there, two lines and a line there. That is a, uh, a way in music to, to just say, hey, do what you did the previous measure. Do the same rhythm before, so you don't have to write out that rhythm all the time. So we're gonna start here at this A minor seventh. We'll do this, let's say, four times, and then we'll move down to the next one. A one, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down. Rest, then you do it again. Let's do it two more times. Now look at the next one, A flat minor seventh. Go down a half step. Two more times. Down to G minor seventh and down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Rest. Down, up, down, up, down. Then back up to A minor. Down, up, down, up, down. Then rest. You can relax your hand on those rests. Just release the pressure. Release the pressure. You don't have to take your fingers off. Just release the pressure. All right. So remember we talked about last time when I shift, I don't want to have to form the whole thing over again. That's too much work, right? I'm a guitar player. I want the easiest thing, easiest way possible. So in order to do that, I just release the pressure, shift my hand wherever I need to go, and then reapply the pressure. That will save you from having to reform the chord all the time. Take a look at the next one. This is exercise two. Now we're going to start jumping a little bit wider jumps, okay? We were just jumping half step. Now we're going to jump two frets worth. We're going to start out on the G minor 7th. Where's the G on the 6th string? That's at the 3rd fret. E, F, G. Okay? So form your chord. This is a minor 7th chord. We're going to cover tonight 5 different chords on that 6th string root. This is the easiest one, well, so we start here. This is a minor 7th on G. And then we go up to an A, 2 frets up. And then look, a B minor, 2 frets up and then one fret up for the C minor. Now, as we get higher up on the neck, the, the notes get closer together, so you have to ever so slightly, your, your fingers are getting a little bit closer together. Let's start at that G minor. We're just gonna repeat each of these twice, okay? One, two, exercise two, G minor, seventh, and. Rest. Now skip up to A minor, seventh, two frets up, two frets up. Remember, we release the pressure and shift. Release the pressure, shift, B minor seventh. Now just up a half step, just up a half step for this one. Okay, hey, now I think is a good time for us to do some finger stretches, because I can already hear you. I can hear you talking back through YouTube at me, and you're saying, Steve, my bar chords don't sound any, they sound like this. And you're getting a nice clear bar chord. What's going on? All right, do this with me while we're doing it. Fingertip to fingertip, fingers are apart, and we're just stretching out this muscle here, okay? Because it gets tight as we do bar chords. Remember, it's all about hand strength. So don't give up on them. Most folks think that, that uh, bar chords is, is, you know, I practice it you know, two days and I've got them. No, 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 no. Bar chords is a several week, maybe even several month mountain. Do you, do you have the, do you have the uh, patience to climb it? Okay. You're doing all the right things. You're just not giving it enough time for your hands to develop. So I realize your bar chords may not sound clear right now. Okay. I, I get it. Don't be discouraged. Let me just tell you as clear as I can tell you, don't be discouraged. If you just keep at it a little bit each day, it's a physical muscle, physical muscle. So just like if lifting weights or something like that, it takes time to develop. No matter how hard you try here at the beginning, you're just not gonna get it, but it, a little bit each day and you'll get it, okay? All right, take a look at exercise three. So as we do this workout, the first time you do the workout, you may not sound so clear on your bar chords, as you get stronger with it, you'll watch. They'll open up in a couple of days. It's just like a flower. Uh, you'll get them a little bit clearer. It sounds like this as you start. And then pretty soon they get to this buzzy stage. 
and then from after a while, they open right up, okay? Give it time, be patient with yourself. Okay, take a look at exercise three. Now I'm gonna mix in some open chords with these minor seventh forms that we've learned, okay? So we have an open E, and then we're gonna to go to a, our minor seventh. And here we did it in F sharp minor. Then we have a G sharp minor at the fourth fret, back to F sharp minor, then back to an open E. A lot of times that's how bar chords appear in music. They don't have bar, 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 a whole sequence of them. They're mixing them in. So take a look at this one. Look at that rhythm too. We have down, so it's a, a dot and half. Let's see if we have our, our groove going here. One, two, we'll do each of these all four times. Give you a chance to do them four times. Two, starts on the E, two, ready, go. One, do it again. Do it again. F sharp minor, seventh. Second fret, shift, hold that bar, hold it. I know it's tough, hang in there, hang in there. Now shift two more frets up to the G sharp minor seventh. Back to the F sharp minor seventh. E and hold. There you go. Hopefully I did all those four times. I I I, I hope I did them all correctly there. Take a look at the next one. Okay, we've done a six string bar. Now we're gonna do a five string bar. Okay. We're at exercise four of about 16 lessons we're going through. Okay, we're gonna start with an open C, and then we're gonna to go to a B flat with a C in the bass. Don't get confused with that compl complicated sounding chord. It's, if you want to, it's a B flat chord, but it's got a C in the bass. But look, it's just a one finger bar, just going five strings. So that's the second shape. Then I go to a D, and then I go to a C with a D in the bass. Anytime you see a a, a, a letter slash another letter, what that's telling you, the top one is telling you the actual chord that's going on, the slash, and then you have the second letter, that's telling you the bass note. So this is telling you they want, in that last measure, a C chord, but they want a D as the bass note, okay? Which happens to conveniently be a five string bar, okay? So this exercise, you do it with me. Let's slow it down. We'll do each measure twice. One, two, three, exercise four. C, one, two, and do it again, do it again. Now here's that bar, here's that bar. Five string, do it again, and open D, open D. Then up here to the fifth fret, I know we haven't learned those notes on the fifth string yet, but it tells you that on the little chord diagram. So we're jumping between bars and between chords. Let's do this one more time. In fact, let's just not even do it twice. Let's just do it just one measure each. Okay, see if you can do the jump with me. One, two, exercise four, C major, go. Down, up. now comes the bar here, and back to D, ready, go. C with a D in the bass, and so part of bar chords is the jumping, is jumping from the, from the, the open chord to the correct space on uh, whatever root it's going for. Flip the page. Hey, go to page five. We've done a minor seventh chord. Now we're gonna kind of build into our five forms. If we put our pinky down, let's get our pinky into the, into the, the action here, and we're gonna form a minor chord. Okay, so take a look at that. These next couple exercises are all about putting your pinky, getting your pinky involved. So if we do, uh, I have two shapes there, the minor seventh chord, which we were doing, if we did it down here at F, it's like this with our third finger. If I add my pinky to the fourth string there, underneath my third finger, I end up with a minor chord as opposed to a minor seventh, okay? Minor, seventh. So the, the pinky is controlling 
the seventh information, if you want to think of it that way. A good way to check if you're forming your, your chord correctly is to go each individual note and see if it rings out clear. See how that top note or that, uh, that the, the, uh, the first note that you come across in the diagram has a diamond on it? Remember what diamonds are? Diamonds indicate the root of a chord. That's what's movable according to the six string notes. Remember our six string notes from last time? E, F, G at the third fret, A at the fifth fret, B at the seventh, C at the eighth, D at the tenth, E the twelfth fret, the exact midway point of the guitar, the octave, okay? And uh, you can always check yourself to see if you were, you were uh, if you fingered them right, if you get to the uh, the 12th fret, and it's the same as it would be open. All right, so take a look at this. This is exercise five. Now, what do I what am I doing here? I'm back up at A, E, F, G, A. I start off with my two finger power chord that we learned last time. Then I add my pinky for the three, and then I do the minor seventh. I add my bar, then I add my pinky, make it a minor. And then I go up a half step. Let's do the same exercise in B flat. There's the two. There's the three. Here's the minor seventh chord. There's the minor chord. Okay, so let's do this together. <coughs> Excuse me. Starting on the A. Nice and slow. One, two, two finger power chord. Go. A, then the three finger power chord. Do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Back to two. Here comes the three. Now we add the bar onto the, then we add our pinky for the minor. Do it again, take your pinky off. Then take, put your pinky back on. Now slide up a half step and go back to the two fret, or two uh, finger power chord. There's the three, repeat it, do it again. Add the bar, so flatten out that finger. First finger straight as an arrow, add the pinky for the B flat minor. Go take it off for the B flat minor seventh. Add it back for the B flat minor. All right, let's do that one again. One, two, A, do it uh, again, and A, then three. Add the bar, add the pinky, go right to the B flat. We're not repeating them this time. And three finger power chord, bar, and add the pinky. You're doing well, you're doing well. Let's do it one more time. Maybe we can even play with our track. Let's do. Let's play with our track. One, two. We won't repeat this. We're just gonna play it straight through. This is exercise five. One, back to the A. Two, a one, two, ready. A, two, and three. Bar. That's a little fast. We're gonna go. Let's go four beats each. Four beats each. Okay. One, two. A one, two, ready, go. One, two, now add the pinky down. One, two, now add the bar. One, two, now add the pinky on the bar. Now up to B flat, ready, and two strings. Now three strings, add the bar, drop that first finger down. Pinky down, two, ready, go. Good, that's a great little exercise for uh, covering those. Take a look at the next one. All right, now we've got some open chords and I'm gonna start adding in some bar chords with them. So I start off with an open G and then I go to an A minor seventh. Now I know there's an A minor right there underneath my fingers, but we're trying to learn bar chords. So we're gonna do the bar chord version. Then we come up here to A, gotta jump, form that minor seventh, which just has this one down, this third figure down. And then a C with a D in the bass, which is right underneath. Okay, so you see how that's right underneath there? And then we go back to uh, back to G. Okay, now we're just gonna do that first line first and then we'll do the next one. Okay, first line first. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, this is exercise six, two, ready, go. One, two, A minor seventh. Do it again, do it again, and again, shift. Let's go, we're going to do it again. 
again. We'll do it three times. Okay, good job. That was a little quicker than I was anticipating. But there you go. Take a look at the next one. Okay, I have a D. And then I have my C with a D in the bass back up here at the fifth fret. Then I jump back down to the G. And then I go to a G minor, not a G minor seventh, a G minor. Okay? So this is the one with the pinky down. Okay, so let's just practice those jumps here first. D. Then C with a D in the bass. Then what does it go to? G. Then G minor. Okay, I'm going to slow it down. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to slow it down. D starts at D. Play that with me. Then a C with a D in the bass here at the fifth fret. Then we go down to a G. And then we have a G minor with our pinky. There you go. Okay? So now we're going to do that line a few times. Okay? Um, I wish that was a little slower for this. In fact, let's just turn that off. We'll just go a little bit slower. Da, da, da. That's the rhythm. Da, da, da. In fact, let's do each measure twice. That might be, give us another chance to do it. Each measure twice. Two, ready, go. Do it again, do it again. C with a D, shift, N. Then we do that again. Then G. Do it again. G minor. Let's try and do it just one measure each, okay? That line, this is the bottom line of page five. Try and do it one measure each. Can you do it? Hang in there. One, two, ready, go. C with a D, and go. G, and ready, go. G minor, and. Do it again, whole thing, do it again. D, C with a D, ready, go. Hang in there. G and ready, go. G minor, ready, go. We're going to do it one more time. Give you another chance at it. D, go. C with a D in the bass. And come on, hang in there, hang in there. G. You can do it. G minor. There you go. Now, remember, as you're practicing this, if it's too fast for you, don't give up. Don't give up. If it's too fast for you, just as you go back and you watch it again, you can go down to YouTube, you can change that, go down to that, click that little wheel at the bottom right hand corner. That will slow it down. You can choose your speed. You can go down to 75% or, 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 or 50% or something like that. Give yourself time. If the chords are going too fast, all you need to do is slow everything down. A little, a little trick like you see we're doing is if they're coming too fast, slow it down. Or the other thing you can do is just repeat each measure a few times. Give, your chance, give yourself a chance to do it. Now, another practicing tip. As you're practicing and you just conquer something, okay, you just... You just did it. Whew, I did it one time correctly. Good. Don't move on. Whatever you do, don't move on. Do it again. Okay? Establish the pattern. Establish the pattern. Once you do something right, don't move on. Do it again a few times. Make sure to you really establish that you've got it right. That's how you, that's how you do it. If you just move on, then you, you know, come back to it the next day and you've forgotten it all. So there you go. Suspended seventh. Take a look at the next page. This is page six. Now we're going to add another chord. We've done the minor seventh. We've done. The, we've added our pinky and done the minor. Now I'm going to move my pinky around. Okay, so I'm going to move that pinky from the fourth string down to the third string. Okay, to the third string. So he was on the fourth, but if I move him to the third, I get what's called a suspended seventh chord another helpful chord, the three of our five chords we're going to be learning today, okay? Um, so we have our minor seventh with the third finger on the fifth string. We have the minor with the pinky underneath it. If I move the pinky down to the third string, I end up now with a minor seventh chord, okay? So take a look at exercise seven. Exercise seven there on page six. We have a down, up, then a rest, then I do the minor, down, up, then a suspended seventh, down, up, 
then back to the minor. So we better go super slow on this one. Starts out on A, so we're at the fifth fret, E, F, G, A. So we're gonna go start off with that A minor seventh. So form that A minor seventh first, okay? Form it first. We're gonna go down, up, and then we're gonna add our pinky, and then we're gonna move our pinky. One, two, exercise seven, ready, go. Down, up, rest. Put your pinky on, rest. Move your pinky down, then move it back up again. Okay, came pretty fast. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. A minor seventh. Put your pinky on. Move your pinky down for the suspended seventh. Move it pinky back up. Hey, that's an A minor. What if I wanted to do it in, oh, I don't know, F sharp minor? Where would I need to go? Where would I need to go? Okay, here's E, F, F sharp. Remember, sharps go up the neck this way, flats go down the neck this way. So if here's F is here, one step up from that is F sharp. So now we're gonna do that same exercise, same exercise, in F sharp now. You do it with me. One, and ready, go. Pinky down for the minor. Move it down a string for the suspended seventh. Move it back where it came from. Do it again, do it again. Take it off. Put it back on. Move it down. Back up. There you go. Now, if this is too slow, some of you may have already been familiar with bar chords and you, you've kind of found your way here, and if that's too slow for you and, and you're just you're, you're way beyond this, great, I'll see you in the next workshop. Go surf on YouTube, go do whatever you want to do. This is for folks that are really trying to overcome bar chords at this point. Take a look at the next one. Here's where it starts getting fun. We've added the third finger, now let's add another finger. So we're gonna, we're gonna add a second finger, your second finger, one, Two. So I'm now going to be adding this finger instead of our third finger. Okay. So take a look at this. We're just going to get some practice adding that second finger. So we're going to go over here to the fifth fret. I put this one in tab. Put this one in tab for you so you could just see what's happening. See how that little chord block just has the four and then the, the curve line over the top of the fifth fret. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to add my second finger onto the third string. Okay, so let's, if we did that first measure again, it's this to this. You do it with me. You do it with me. Do it again. Now, it goes down to the fourth fret, so move it down. We're going to do it there. Ready? Go. Put your second finger down. Go back. Next measure, we go down to the third fret. We're slowly working our way down. Remember, the closer you get to this nut right here, the, it takes a little bit more pressure to do it. So here we go, try it. Ready, go. Third measure, add your second finger. So I'm holding the bar and adding the second finger. Back to it, add the second finger. Remember also, we talked about last time, when you're doing a bar, it, you're not exactly dead flat on the finger. You're actually off center, just, you know, 30 degrees, something like that. You're just off just a little bit, not on the side of your finger, but just on this side of the finger, okay? Um, all right, and then it goes down to the second and goes down to the first there as well. Okay, dominant seventh. Take a look at the next section down here as we're moving on, because I want to get to the exercises. All right, exercise nine. We're gonna add a new chord. We've done the minor seventh, we've done the minor. You've conquered the suspended seventh, we got two more. Here's another one. It's called the dominant seventh chord. Now, this would be like an F7, an A7, B flat seven, anything seven. That's called a dominant seventh chord in the biz, okay? And so a dominant seventh chord, I have, let's do it up here, maybe the A, because that's where we've been at. So if I had the minor seventh, but now I'm gonna add my second finger to this. I've already got my third finger down here, but I'm gonna add my second finger to the uh, third string as well, so I got both of them. I've got the bar and the third finger and the second one going. See if you can get that as clear as you can. Now, if you're, everybody's gotta be up on their tippy toes so they're not muting out other strings. If you're muting, if he's down flat, then he's gonna not allow that string to, to vibrate. Now, the string that's always gonna be the problem in this one, I want you to listen for that one. This is on your fourth string. So try and get that fourth string to be clear. Okay, 
overshoot it if you need to. Okay. Uh, this is on page six of the download for tonight. Remember, I'm going to put that in the YouTube description. Um, that'll be down there as well. All right, so take a look at nine. Now, this is our page, or so, nine, what did I get that from? Exercise nine, page six, okay, a dominant seventh chord. Now, a dominant seventh chord is made up of the tones one, three, five, and then flatted seventh, okay? All right, so let's do the A minor first, A minor seventh, four. And now I'm just going to add my second finger down to create an A7. A minor 7th, A7. You try that to me. You, you try that with me. A minor 7th. Add your second finger. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Hup, 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 hup. I think it's about time we stretch our fingers out. Give your fingers a rest here. Okay. Give your fingers a rest. Okay, give that a little bit of a stretch there. All right, now we're gonna go up to B flat minor. Where's B flat? E, F, G, A, B. Flats go this way. Remember, sharps went this way, flats go this way. So this B flat is at the sixth fret. We're gonna do the second measure here. Minor seventh to the dominant seventh. You do it with me, ready, go. Minor seventh, now to the dominant seventh. Add that second finger, take the second finger off. So all of these chords, add it back on. Take it back off, minor seventh, here's the dominant seventh. Here's the minor seventh, here's the dominant seventh. So if you want to think about it, this second finger is controlling the minor major um, um, aspect of the chord. Okay? Take a look at the third measure. Now we're up at the B minor seventh. So now we're up here at the seventh fret. Okay? You do it with me. Ready? Go. Minor seventh, add that second finger down for the seventh. Now your hand may be getting tired here. Take it off. There you go. Okay, go. Oh, what's the next one? G sharp minor seventh. Now you have to jump down to G sharp. Where is it? Where is it? Find it, find it, find it, find it. Okay, where would it be? G, E, F, G is there. G sharp would be at the fourth fret. So now we're gonna do it at G sharp. Ready, go. Add your finger down. Take your finger off, add your finger back on. These are just little exercises to get your fingers used to moving. Now, I realize your hand may be getting tired at this point, and so you just do the best you can. Come back and try this a little bit later and you're, you will get farther. See how far, play a little game with yourself. I got to 15 minutes through the workout, hey, but this time I got through 18 minutes of the workout. That's what I want you to do. Hey, that's where the progress is. Look at the last measure. G minor seventh. Ready, go. Take it off. Put it back on. Take it off. Put it back on. So you've got to hold the bar. You've got to do all these other very specific movements with your, with your uh, second and third fingers. It's tough. It's tough. That's why a lot of people give up on bar chords. Don't be like that. Okay, you can, you can do it, you can do it. All right, now for the last of our five chords. You ready? We're at page seven of the PDF. Look at that, it says the major chords with a six string root. All right, we've covered minor sevenths. We've covered minor with our pinky down. We've covered suspended seventh with our pinky on a lower string. We've covered um, a pinky off and second finger on. That's the dominant seventh and now we're gonna have the most complicated of all five, and it's the major chord. So I've got the third finger on, fourth finger on, and the second finger on, and the bar. So do the best you can with grabbing it. Do the best you can. Don't give up, don't give up. If you can't do it, you can maybe do it tomorrow. Do it the next day. If you give up, it's over, it's over, okay? All right, so take a look at this. Now, major chord just uses one, three, and five. Now, it doesn't have a seventh in it, okay? This is just in, in any key, the, the first note of the major scale, the third note of the major scale, the fifth note of the major scale. Take a look at that first little exercise there. It says the six-string bar chord family. Let's play through all those together. Starts out with the A minor seventh. Ready? Form that. Add your pinky down for the minor. Move your pinky down a lower string for the suspended seventh. There you go. Move it, uh, change that to the second string, or second finger, sorry. Add your pinky back on, and 
those are the five types. Let's do it again. You say the type with me, okay? Minor seventh is the first one. Minor seventh. Then we have minor, okay? We add our pinky and that becomes minor. Then we lower our pinky, that becomes the suspended seventh. Then we add our second finger, that's the A seventh. And then we add our pinky and the third finger, that is the uh, major chord. Okay, now let's put it in a different spot. Put it in the key of, uh, oh, I don't know, C. Put it in the key of C, okay? Where would a C be at? Can you find it? Can you find it? Which fret is it at? Okay, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? So here we go, let's do it in C. Start out with a minor seventh, ready, go. Put your pinky down, C minor. Put your second finger down for the seventh. Oh, sorry, A suspended or C suspended first. And then we go to that down at seven. And then we add them both together for the C. Okay, exercise 10, minor to major jumping. So we're gonna go down to, what does it say? G minor there, E, F, G. And then we're gonna just add the third, excuse me, the second finger down and take the second finger off. Okay, and then notice in the next part, it has G minor, and then we jump down to the F. So now we're jumping and changing chords. So take a look at the first two measures. We'll repeat those first. Two, exercise 10, and go, and. Rest. Add that second finger for the G major. Go. Rest. Repeat that, go back to the G minor, go back to the G minor, and finger off. Major on, finger on. Okay, and back to the G minor. This is the third measure now. Now we jump back to F major. Big jump, two frets down, and we make it major. Let's go back up to the G minor, two frets up. Take that second finger off. Then move it back down. Do it again. Do that one again. G minor, G minor. Come on, you can do it. Jump down to F major, jump down to F major. Add that second finger. We're gonna do it again. Back up to G minor, back up to G minor. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Back down to F, and there you go. There you go. All right, take a look at exercise 11. We're on the home stretch. Now, this is just a little exercise I wanted you to just kind of realize. An A minor seventh, an open A minor seventh is here. Now that's the same chord, it's the same collection of notes, just in a different order. And up here, they're the same chord. An A minor down here is an A minor up here. Do you hear how they even sound the same? An A seventh open is the same as an A seventh here. An A suspended seventh open is the same as the A suspended there, and then an A major is the same as an A major there. Okay, so let's do those together. Start out with the open A minor 7th. Ready? Go. Then we jump up to the A minor 7th, the 5th fret. Do it again. Open A minor 7th. Back to A minor 7th bar. Now we're going to go to an A minor open. Now we jump up to the, we do the A minor with the pinky. Back down. Oh man, we're really doing some jumping. A seventh, A seventh. Jump, second finger and third finger down. Back to open. Come on, come on. If guitar playing was easy, everybody would do it. A suspended seventh. And again. Then the major. time, one last time. There you go. Okay, take a look at the last page. This is the, uh, while I get tuned up here, this is the, it says, less practice and learn, okay? Uh, these are exercises that I took from the Learn and Master Guitar course that I did with Gibson, and we did kind of a bonus workbook with that, and these are some of the most um, useful exercises out of that bonus workbook. Now, you're gonna, it's gonna take more than just four exercises or five exercises to get you playing bar chords. So you need to play bar chords in a lot of different places. But th this will get you uh, the practice you need on switching it, okay? And then you'll have to apply it, okay? All right, here we go. Take a look at that first one. 
This is called bar chord challenge number one. Now on these, you can do the bar chords when you have to, and then you can do an open chord when you, when you uh, have the opportunity to do an open chord, okay? Now, so let's just review the chords first. Where would an F major be? An F major on a six string bar. Where would it be if you find it? You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let me turn my volume on, even better. Okay, G minor is the next one. Find it. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? G minor, third fret, third finger and the pinky down. Now the C seventh, well, that could be just a regular C seventh. Regular C seventh, it's like a C, but we just put our pinky down here. So I'm, I'm, I'm training you to hold a bar and then relax for the open chord. Hold the bar, relax for the open chord. Each one of these is working on a very specific skill. Take a look at number one. Let's see if we can play that together. One and two and F and ready, go. Rest. Now find that G minor, scoot up. One, two, third fret, G minor, go. Rest. And find the C7, open C7, two, three, wait for it, wait for it, go. And good, let's do it again, a little bit faster. One and two and F and ready, go. G minor, one and two, shift, put your fingers down, go. C7, open C7, two, three, four. We're gonna do this one again. A little bit faster, one and two and F and ready, go. G minor, find it, shift, move, land. C7, open C7, two, Ready, go. Good, we're warming it one last time. Two, a little bit faster, F, go. And shift G minor, two, and ready, go, and. Come on, come on. Here you go, C7, two, two, three, four. There you go, come on, you're starting to be guitar players that know how to do bar chords, that's what it's like. All right, take a look at the next one. Bar chord challenge number two. He, they've made it through the first challenge. Can they make it through the second one? All right, this one starts on a B minor. All right, well, you gotta find a B minor seventh, first of all. Where's that B minor seventh? Okay, E, F, G, A, B, seventh fret. Minor seventh, so I just have my third finger down. Now the A, I could just do an open A. Okay, that's a little bit of a jump, but I could do that. I could do the bar one too. If you wanna feel ambitious, you could do the bar one or you can just do the open one here. Now the F sharp suspended. Um, with our pinky down a string on the F sharp second fret. And then I move back to have my second finger, my pinky to my second finger. Just that move there is a tricky move if you haven't done those sorts of moves before. Just try that with me. Having that pinky down for the suspended to the second finger the suspended to the second finger. One more time, suspended, second finger. All right, so let's try this one. Starts out on the B minor seventh, so real slow. One and two and seventh fret, ready, go. Open A, ready, go. Second fret, F sharp suspended with the pinky down a string. Second finger on the F sharp seven, go. Okay, do it again. One, B minor seven, two, one, and ready, go. A and ready, go. There, I did the bar A. Second fret, F sharp suspended, go. F sharp seven, second finger, and. Good, take a look at the next one. Bar chord challenge number three. All right, we can do an open A. Look at that strumming pattern. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. You do it with me, just on an A. Okay, and then
then we go to an F sharp minor seventh, second fret. The minor seventh, big jump, big jump. That's gonna be the toughest part of it right there. And then back down to the A. Okay, so this one involves some pretty big jumps. Here we go, number three. One, two, and number three. Ready, go. Down, down, up. F sharp minor seventh, second fret. B minor seventh, seventh fret. Big jump. Do it back to A. We're gonna do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Come on. F sharp minor seventh. B minor seventh. One more time. A little bit faster. Do it again and A. F sharp minor seventh. One last time, just stay right at the same tempo. F sharp minor seventh. B minor seventh. A. All right, fourth one. Look at the next one. Bar chord challenge number four. Okay, we have an F. This was in three four time. I thought I would vary it up a little bit. Most of these have been in four four time, but you're also going to see occasionally you can have see music that's in three four time with three beats per measure rather than the typical four beats per measure, okay? So look at that, we've got an F, then we could do an open C, G minor seventh, so third fret with our third finger down, C7, then an F, and just to torture you, come on, we're at the end of this, I gotta ramp it up a little bit, I'm gonna go back and forth between a, a C, an F, a C, and an F. Oh my goodness, it's torture. It's it's guitar player torture, I tell you. Here we go. Number three, or excuse me, number bar chord challenge exercise four in three, four time. Down, down, up, down. That's the rhythm. One, ready, F, go. Open C here. Here comes that G minor seventh. Down, down, up, C seven. Back to an F. F, C, F, C. Oh, here, how'd you do? Let's try it one more time. Come on, come on, here we go. One, we're almost to the end. Two, three, one, ready, play. G minor seventh. C seven. F. For the last one, bar chord challenge number five. This is it, this is as far as we're going today. You made it all the way to the end. We're gonna do a B minor, which the only way I can do a B minor. Actually, there's one here, but we haven't learned that yet. But we're gonna do the one up here at the seventh fret. Then an open E seventh. Maybe an open A minor. Open D seventh. Then I gotta do a bar chord for the G minor. C. Seventh, sorry, then an F. Big up, jump up to B flat. And then just to throw you off, an up stroke on the F. Okay, number five, bottom of page eight. Real super slow, super slow. One, two, and Re, D, B minor, go. Open E7. A minor, ready, go. D7. Third fret, G minor, and C7. Back to F, and rest. B flat, F, do it again. Two, do it again, B minor, and A minor to D, and G minor to C, and F, and ready, go. B flat, we're gonna do this again. F, last time, two, do it again, and ready, go. A minor to D, N. G minor to C, N. F, and ready, go. B flat. All right, there you go. Woo, worked you hard tonight. Um, 
there you go. That's that's the workout. Those are the bar chords. Now, let me encourage you just for a second. Just because you couldn't get through it today doesn't mean that you're not going to knock it out of the ballpark in the next few times. Don't give up. Don't give up. A lot of people, they just give up too soon. You can do it. You can do it. Just keep going. Do this exercise. If you could only get through so long with me, see if you can get longer with me next time. Each day, carving out a little more of your musical future. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz for Guitar Gathering, and we'll see you next time.